it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and today is my birthday. That's right, today I'm turning 33 years old, and if you would like to wish me a happy birthday, please leave a comment under this video, because it would make me really happy to see birthday wishes from my students all over the world. So on the topic of birthdays, today's English lesson is all about 30 expressions with the word party. But what you might not know is that the word party has four different meanings in English. What are they? Well, keep watching to find out and learn these 30 different expressions with party. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. The first definition of party, which you're probably familiar with, is a celebration. The verbs we use for organizing a party are have a party and, more informally, throw a party. Don't say do a party or make a party. The correct expressions are have a party and throw a party. The people who come to a party are called guests, and the person or people organizing the party are called the hosts. The hosts need to invite the guests to the party, ask them to come, and the guests should RSVP. RSVP means to inform the hosts whether or not they will attend the party. Actually, although you can say attend a party, it's far more common and casual to say go to a party. When referring to presence at the party, always use the preposition at. Say at the party, not in the party. For example, I was at the party last night. They will be at the party on Sunday. We have a few different types of parties. A birthday party is one that celebrates someone turning another year older. A farewell party is held to say goodbye to someone who is leaving the area permanently, like moving to a different place, or who is leaving for a long time. A housewarming party is to congratulate the owners of a new home or apartment, and at a housewarming party it's common to bring the host's gifts for the house. A surprise party is one where the main person being honored or celebrated does not know in advance that a party is being organized. When there's a lot of activity at a party, you can say the party is in full swing. Sometimes it turns into a wild party, meaning one where people are acting crazy and may be out of control. Party can also be a verb. For example, you can say, we're going to party this weekend, or my neighbors partied all night. Another definition for the word party is a political group with a certain set of beliefs. You might have read in the news about political parties, groups of citizens and or government members who share a particular perspective or set of beliefs. Political parties vary from country to country, but you might have a more conservative party, which believes in tradition and keeping things the same, and a more liberal or progressive party, which wants to bring about social change and evolution. There might also be a green party, which focuses on environmental issues, and a workers party, which focuses on supporting the common people or common workers. Sometimes there is a radical party, which has very extreme beliefs. The party that currently holds most of the power in the country can be called the governing party or ruling party. During elections, people's votes might put a party into power. If you are officially registered as belonging to a certain party, then you are a member of the party. A third definition of the word party is a group of people doing something specific together, and the three most common expressions with this definition of party are a search party, 
That's a group of people and professionals who are looking for a missing person. It's good to have a search party, many people looking for the missing person, because a search party can cover a bigger area than just a few people looking. Similar to that is a rescue party. That's a group of people and professionals who are helping save people after an accident or disaster. Sometimes these two expressions are combined. For example, you can have a search and rescue party to help find and save people after an earthquake. Finally, we often use this expression when talking about reservations at restaurants. When you make a reservation for a restaurant, you can say, for example, I'd like to make a reservation for a party of four, meaning that it's a group of four people that will be eating together. If you don't specify the number, someone at the restaurant might ask, how many in your party? Finally, party can be a more formal word for a person or a company, and this is often used in legal cases and contracts as a generic term for a person or company that is involved in the situation. You might hear expressions like, the guilty party meaning the person or company that did something bad or wrong. The injured party, meaning the person or company that was the victim. An interested party, meaning someone who may have an interest in or be affected by this case. And a third party, referring to someone who is separate from the two main parties involved in the contract, negotiation, or dispute. I hope you've enjoyed learning these collocations and expressions with the word party defined in four different ways. If you'd like to learn more useful expressions which are organized by topic with quizzes, check out my ebook, 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. You can click on the link in the video for more information or to buy this ebook. Each lesson is really fast. You can spend just five minutes reading it and then five minutes taking the quiz. It's a great way to expand your vocabulary and learn new combinations of words.